wanted to share with you some things that I do outside of the clinic that is so related to what I do at Smith and something that I don't think was really covered in physical therapy school, nor did I see it in your curriculum, was marketing and getting out into the community. And you know from working at Smith with us how much we value being a part of our wonderful community. And so today I am actually at um, the visiting center for McHenry County Conservation District at Glacial Park. And um, it's beautiful here. You can kind of see some of it out my window before I go in. But they are having an employee health and safety fair today. And so I will be working at a table and sharing information about back safety, ergonomics, um, stretching ideas that they can do at their desks, and other things um, that we do at Smith. And really, I'm there to answer any of the employees' questions that they might have as they go around this health and safety fair. So this is kind of a cool thing that I do um, aside from treating patients and it's something that definitely wasn't covered in school but I love getting out in the community and talking to new people and meeting new people um, and helping people with any problems that they're having uh, related to physical therapy and what we do at Smith. So I know right now you're in school and you're busy with school but um, how about your what are you doing to get out of the classroom and do things kind of outside your regular coursework? Um, I know there's lots of fun activities and things that you're a part of at SLU, so I'd like to hear more about that. Um, I will also share some pictures and things of what I'm doing at this event as it goes on. So I hope all is well with you in St. Louis, Maddie. We miss you. Talk to you soon. Hi, Dana. So nice to hear from you. Um, and I think this is such a great video topic. Uh, I think a lot of times people forget that we have lives outside of school or outside of work um, and that there is a life balance that you have to find in order to be happy as well as successful. So it's nice to hear you going out in the community and doing other things and obviously they still are related a little bit to work, um, but it kind of gets you outside of the clinic and talking to people we may not always come in contact with, which for me I know is always fun and I like to talk so it's nice for me to get other people's perspective on things. Um, as for what I'm doing here at school, I'm kind of in a variety this semester, so I'm still kind of dipping my toes into things and trying to figure out what I like and what I have time for because being in school and taking a heavy course load in order to finish um, my degree on time with this fast-paced program, um, I kind of need to make sure that I have a balance of what's going on. Uh, but this semester, like I mentioned before, I am in a sorority and I have been getting a little bit more involved with that. So I recently was on our Shamrock Week committee, um, which helped me kind of get more involved within philanthropy. And I used to do a lot of philanthropy in high school, but kind of got away from it in college, uh, which is kind of sad because um, I did a ton in high school, but it was just harder for me to get into it here. Uh, but I was able to help with that, and it was all for Prevent Child Abuse America and then a like local affiliate in St. Louis. But we had a lot of fun. We made shamrock shakes during the week. We had a bake sale, and then we did a shinny hockey tournament. So all the frats came together and played shinny hockey. Um, definitely not physical therapist approved. Definitely a concussion. I don't doubt it during that. And lots of hurt knees because they're all, I mean, I guess shins and knees, but they were all bleeding. So it was kind of scary. Um, probably not the safest bet. Like I said, not PT approved, but you know, that's how we get our clients. <laughs> Just kidding and um, well, some cases. And then other than that, um, I'm doing Billiken Buddies, which is basically just a program that uh, has potential students come visit SLU. I can host them for an overnight or give them a tour. So unlike our ambassador program, which is like a paid position and something where uh, they give like big group tours, the Billiken Buddies are just a volunteer position. It's just where you wanna help out. So when they have those big like admitted student days, they'll have Billiken Buddies come and uh, either host the student overnight or give them a tour during the day or like a, a group or if we have like an elementary school or something that's not necessarily like potential students at that age um, but really just for people to come and get a look at our campus uh, so I really enjoy getting involved with that and I've been doing that a little bit more this semester and I actually really like hosting people it is a little awkward in this like tiny room as you can see I can touch the beds without even extending my arms fully <laughs> so it's a small room but we are able to make it work um, other than that, I also got a job this semester on campus, so I'm working as a student caller, which 
I'm still kind of getting like figuring that all out. Um, I had my first like real shift yesterday and that was where I really sat down with my headset on and called people. So I basically just get in contact with alumni and talk to them about what they're doing now, um, update their information, and then it is for our annual giving programs Then I do have to ask them to give, which can be kind of hard. And basically I just sat and heard no's for like my entire three hour shift yesterday. But I do get to talk to alumni and it is really interesting because a lot of them end up in a variety of places and like I said I like to talk to people so I actually don't mind it um, it is a little bit awkward to ask people to give you a gift but a lot of people are in very well-off financial states and they are like flags as a potential donor I um, they either have given before or have shown interest in giving so it's not usually as awkward but I am doing that so those are like my three main things other than that, um, I'm doing like a random volunteering opportunity tomorrow through the School of Education because I am getting a minor in education. Um, and that we have 10,000 elementary school kids coming to our school and we're just gonna play games with them for like an hour. So really uh, tame, I mean, well, probably not tame because there's a lot of kids, but um, very relaxed volunteering opportunity. So I'm gonna do something like that tomorrow. And then other than that, I really just enjoy like hanging out with friends and when I'm not, doing schoolwork. I have Fridays off this semester, which is super nice. Um, like even just going to the grocery store or going to Central West End is really nice here in St. Louis if anyone's from around here um, or ever visited. Very nice area and they have a nice street with a bunch of shops. So I really like doing that. But that's kind of what I'm doing with my time. And like I said, I love hearing about what Dana's doing in her time. And I uh, know you have a family and I'm sure enjoy hanging out with them as well when you're not working. But yeah, that's kind of a summary of my life here at SLU and other than sitting in a classroom or studying for a test or doing homework. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple weeks and I wish everyone at Smith PT the best of luck.